What you're about to see is a social experiment designed to find out if seven beautiful women and seven geeks can help each other to become a whole lot more. Hello, ladies. Previously, these beauties. I am a dancer for the 76ers. That's smart, I got a really high IQ. I think my IQ is probably about 500. And these geeks. My IQ is 150. Because I'm so busy with the two sides of fan club, I have trouble meeting women. Teamed up and move into their new home. Here we are. Let's make the bed. Which side do you like to sleep on? The geeks attempted to pass their brains onto the beauties. I'm Maury. You should know this. There's one right over there. Oh, an all wire. While the beauties attempted to give the geeks some game. Look, look at my hips. Yeah. No, look, look right here. <laughs> In the challenges, the women learned auto maintenance. I broke a nail and I got my pants dirty. I'm dirty. And were tested on their fifth grade knowledge. Which state is further south, North Carolina or South Dakota? Um, South Dakota. While the guys learn how to dance and how to give a woman a massage. Yeah, this is great. Ew. Each week, the winners of the challenges pick two teams to go to the elimination room. And each week, one team was sent home. We're like the geeks, and these chicks are supposed to be stupid blondes, but what it comes down to is everyone's just, you know, everyone's just people. I just realized, like, how superficial. Girls that look like us can treat guys who look like some of them. All these guys are, like, some of the greatest guys I've ever met. Now only five teams remain. All in the quest to become more than just the beauty and the geek. after we were not eliminated. It is a shot at a lot of money, but at the same time, it's a shot at a big opportunity just to be here with people and experience new things. I'm at it. <laughs> I think at first it was more about the money. Now, it's, to me, it's changing a little bit more, and it's becoming more about who we are as people. It's more about growing and learning from this experience. I'm actually getting to know these guys. Oh, there's such a crush on Richard. I love the little cat. Like, he's like so cute. You're trying to pick him up and eat him. Like, he's the cutest thing in the world. No, no, no. Tango's like this, right? Now, oh. how, where, <laughs> Kylan, where do, you, where do you hold, right? On the bum. On the bum. This is the bum. That's the bum. This is the bum, like that. This is, this is a first. Woo! Before living in this house, I would have never picked these guys to live with. I mean, they're a little, like, not on the same page as me. Probably, like, a lot more. Higher pages than me because they're really smart. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs>no one right now that I have a one in five chance of winning a quarter of a million dollars. It's scary, but it's also exciting at the same time. It's extremely important that we win this next challenge. Good morning. Good morning. In the last challenge, both competitions were swept by a single team the second time in a row, and this time it was, it was Chuck and Keitelin. But now the power to control who goes to the elimination room is up for grabs. In the next challenge, you'll be competing in activities that are foreign to both of you. These are your materials. Guys, you'll be learning all about women's fashion. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not rocket science. Ladies, you on the other hand will be learning rocket science. <laughs> I was like 
completely floored because that is like so boring and like I have no clue about rocket science. That's right. Your materials will teach you how to construct a functional rocket. Remember, winning these challenges will not only ensure your stay in this house, but will also give you the opportunity to choose one of the teams that will face off in the elimination room. So I suggest you study very, very hard with your partners. Goodbye. two study materials. We have a, a book sort of about planning one's wardrobe and then we have a magazine about fashion. Who manufactures this bag? Louis Vuitton. LV. Louis Vuitton. Where's the LV? Right here. There's the L and the V. That's like Louis yeah. Vuitton like. Okay. Bust, waist, and hips. Women's fashion is is well beyond my capacities. Looking in the mirror, how does your bust line look? Are you wearing a knit top? If you are, walk a little and watch your bust line. I think fashion is, is frivolous and uh, rather read about the gospel according to Luke. You have particularly <laughs> stubborn nipples, Mindy. One trick is to cover them with a Band-Aid. I'm serious. I, I know, I know this already. What's the difference between low rise and not low rise? And how do you, how can you tell? And what does a stiletto look like? And what it, you know, I'll pull out my boots. You might need to know what an Ugg boot looks like. I'd never really thought that there were people who, who actually took clothes this seriously. How are we gonna build a freaking rocket? <laughs> this stuff here is slow burning, and this is the time delay. And then right here is a small explosive charge. Right? So, launch. The recovery device, which is a parachute that deploys, you know, once it starts coming down. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh. Most of the girls are pretty clueless. We have no idea what's going on. I mean, I read the same page, like, five times, and I still don't understand it. I'm gonna have a trouble with the rocket, so I guess I better study from now till tomorrow, because that's not gonna be an easy one. I definitely think that people have judged me on my looks, and I'll be honest, I've never, ever in my life felt like I was smart. I'm using this to prove to myself that, that I'm not stupid, and I'm always open to learning new things and to challenging myself. That feels good. So ballistics is the study of things like rockets, bullets, objects that receive all their energy at once. I hate studying. Like, I don't like to study at all. <gasps> oh my god, <laughs> what? <laughs> that is what I think about rockets. Coming up next, the geek's fashion IQ is put to the test. Is this the butt floss? Can, can I ask your, your measurement? Well, the beauties must put themselves on the line. The butt was so big. I really felt like I was walking around with poop in my pants. When Beauty and the Geek continues. We arrived at our challenge. Everyone was in a panic when we saw that we would be doing an outdoor activity, which we immediately assumed was launching a rocket. I was definitely panicked when I saw those launch pads out there. Welcome to the first part of today's challenge. Yesterday, you were given materials related to rocketry. Well, in this competition, we're going to test you on how much you learn because each of you will have to build a rocket and successfully launch it above that red line. First person that sends her rocket soaring into the sky wins a chance to send one team to the elimination room and ensures that she and her partner will be safe for the next few days. So ladies, you ready? Yes. Man your goggles. When I saw the goggles, I didn't want to wear them because they're ugly and big. They're not fashionable for me. Five, four, three, two, one, go! When we first started the challenge, I was reading the instructions. I was very calm. I was just, you know, taking my time. How does it go? Right, like this. Kite ran into a, a little bit of trouble just out of the gate but with the no, figuring out how to attach the fins. Doing great. Don't start, Brad. Lauren looking completely clueless. I don't know how to build a rocket. Crystal pulling way ahead. She's already onto the rocket. Wow, you are kicking everybody's ass. 
Okay, I don't know how we're supposed to put this together. How are you? They're taping them. Model rocketry is called miniature astronautics. Crystal and Kylan, they're neck and neck. My fins don't work. I... Crystal is pulling way ahead. She's almost onto her last step here. What, what do the instructions say about it? Well, I don't really know. I can't okay. even freaking see the instructions. Okay. <laughs> Keep getting the stuff put together. Crystal and Kylan, and neck and neck. They are almost ready to launch. Is it going to be Kylan or is it going to be Crystal? Oh. oh my God! <laughs> I just cranked it up, shook it, and bam, <laughs> the thing went off. I was just shocked, excited. Congratulations, Kyle and Crystal. Yours successfully launched first, but it didn't go anywhere. I'm disappointed in myself because if I would have taken my time more, I easily could have won. And Kyle and your team wins, and you guys have won three challenges in a row. This is the team to beat right here. And I might complain about having to read about the different parts of the rocket model, but when I walk out of here, I'm going to feel better than I did the day I walked in. None of us really had much of an idea what was going on, and then they told us we were needed downstairs. Gentlemen, part of your reason for being here is to open up to women so that they can learn what you're all about. Now the question is, how much have you paid attention to the things that matter to your partner? Do you know her favorite color? Her style? Her dress size? Right? I don't have a clue. <laughs> We're sending you to a clothing store where you'll have to pick out three different outfits for your teammate. Evening wear, casual wear, and swimsuits. You'll need to take all of your newfound knowledge of fashion and combine it with everything you've learned about your partner in order to succeed. With that in mind, have fun shopping, fellas. It felt like being back in school and having a test, and I haven't studied enough for it. I kind of like, please make it work, okay? Please give me a passing grade. This is gonna be fun. Guys and I took a road trip into Beverly Hills. I've never bought clothes for a girl before. Hi there. Hello. How are you? Uh, confused. <laughs> <laughs> For a group of guys who are usually pretty used to being able to wrap their minds around uh, whatever situation's about to confront them and realize that we have sort of the collective fashion IQ of a five-year-old. OK, anything catch your eye? Like a Hawaiian-type suit. What about you guys? You don't sell thongs. <laughs> we do? Do you like it's called butt floss, I believe. Okay, well that's right over here. Let me take a look at that. And we would have pink. Is this the butt floss? There you go. This is like a floss for a giant. Can, can I ask you what your measurements are? Just as something to like ballpark off of? We were all completely at sea. I mean, nobody had taken measurements. Do you know what size she is? I have no idea. You have no idea. No. Oh, uh, an animal print. An what kind of animal? A tigress? If you had to rate them on a sort of hotness spectrum, this would be a little bit. I want hot, I want sexy, I want attractive. This is what's happening, this thing? It's an animal print. It's like a leopard print, cheetah, or whatever it is. It's like Tarzan. She looks like Jane. I don't know how about size. Need to size and she's what size? She's, she's like a female version of me. Thank you for all the help. Have a good night. Thanks so much. Thanks a lot. Don't get too wild with those animal suits. No, no. Bye bye. I think they're helping making us an outfit. <laughs> oh my god, I couldn't even imagine what Bill would pick out for me. <laughs> anyway, no, Ew, I love to that. He'll walk into the store and take what's ever on the mannequin because they never dress the mannequin in something stupid. We're thinking that the guys are going shopping for us. We're all like freaking out. You know, we don't know what to expect. Hello, uh, we're looking for evening wear and casual wear. I was very excited because by the time we got to the second store, I'd already planned out 
uh, in my mind what I wanted to do. What I was thinking for the casual is maybe like a, um, a sort of finished sweater in a, in a sort of a, like a, a dark purplish pink. The long sleeve dress I was talking about had a little uh, choker on it. Yeah. Top. I guess so, or maybe some jeans. Or... No, she would, that's She'd something like that, she would like. She was small, because she, she's got boobs at all. She's uh, kind of small. Like AB. She's yeah. like me, but she fills out in different, she sticks out in different places. I, I would assume so. And if this is too personal, but can, can I ask your, your measurements? The thing that really I was nervous about was the sizing. I mean, I thought to myself, if I get this too small, she can't wear it game over. Good luck, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. We'll need it. <laughs> It was just really fun to sort of be able to surprise them by saying we went to a lot of trouble tonight to try and pick out clothes that you'd like. What size am I? Yeah. A six or a... Yeah? Easy! <laughs> oh, is it anything sexy? If I, <laughs> I hope I'm not lying when I say yes. You wear four, don't you? No. What do you wear, two? Um, I'm a zero. You're a zero? I don't know what a zero means. A zero means you don't exist. I thought that two would be the smallest because a zero... You know, it's, it's, it's almost like a negative. Sean, what did you get? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Why? This was a traumatizing experience. Why? <laughs> I second guess myself on a regular basis, and going through this process made it that much worse because, you know, I really wasn't sure exactly what would fit and how it would look, and I'm paranoid. Yeah. <laughs> don't be. You know what? Whatever you did. I'm sure it's absolutely great. Yeah. Well, when guys are confident, you are so confident about your decision. You need to be confident about everything. I love Sean. He's such a quiet guy. If somebody could just break past that point, he, he'd be amazing. He just needs a little bit of confidence. Okay, like, you're, you, you're confident about what you got, right? Good, oh my gosh. Or... Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> I was feeling really stressed out. My back was hurting. I just had a lot of pressure and a lot of stress. I just asked Chuck to give me a massage. I think he gives an incredible okay. massage. Okay. Can I slide these off your shoulders for a second? Yeah. Alright. Lay back down. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We do have some things in common. We actually started talking in Spanish. Has tenido novia? Does that mean, have I? Yeah, have you? Yeah, of course. He's definitely an intelligent and unique man, and I think it's very attractive. Has tenido una novia latina? No. After the massage, Chuck said that he wanted to talk to me. I'm not very good at sort of expressing myself sometimes. Yes, you are. Well, I mean, yes, you are. You're very good at expressing I told myself from the very beginning that I was going to use this experience as a way to spend a little time outside of my comfort zone. And I just, I think you're the most beautiful woman in the house. Oh my gosh, no way. I don't think I've ever gone out with a guy like Chuck. He's attractive, but kind of like in a different nerdy way. I mean, I know we don't have a lot of time, but, mm. um, I just, I would, I'd like to spend some of it with you. Thank you. I've already taken a couple of risks here that, that I, I wouldn't normally be used to taking. I guess in some sense the old me would have been willing to live in the house for two weeks and, and sort of never tell Scarlett what a special person I, I think she is. to head into the guys challenge now and from what I understand they've picked us out some outfits and I'm guessing it'll be a you know some kind of a fashion show or something guys yesterday you went shopping for women's clothing you picked out three types of outfits for your ladies evening wear casual wear and swimsuits now we're gonna find out how much you learn about fashion and your partner's sense of style because your teammate will be modeling outfits. I sometimes struggle with confidence when it comes to like a bathing suit anyways. And so to know that 
not only was I going to have to be in one, but I was going to have to shake what my mother gave me all the way down and all the way back. I was a little bit panicked. And to judge how well you've done, we've brought in some fashion experts. Please say hello to Nani Tochterman, designer of Petrozilia clothing line. She's worked with celebrities like Lindsay Lohan and Britney Spears. Celebrity stylist Todd Hallman, who's worked with Owen Wilson and Catherine Zeta-Jones. Jewelry designer Erica Courtney, whose clients include Johnny Depp and Kate Beckinsale. They'll decide who wins this challenge based on who picked out the best wardrobe for their teammate. So take some time backstage to get ready. And then, ladies, it's time to stretch your stuff on the catwalk. Surprise. Oh, cute. That, that's your evening wear. This is really cute. So Bill came in the dressing room before the show started, and he showed me uh, my dress, then my casual wear, and then my bathing suit. I thought he did an excellent job. I was like, oh my god, we're going to win this. This is the bathing. Oh, no. OK, well. The rear's a little tiny, but I think I can make that work. OK. Oh, uh, the, don't forget the flower, the Hawaiian effect. Is that, that was for, very, for the hair? Yes, for okay. casual. That was very, that was very crucial. That was very okay. crucial. And it's a size one. Give me five. You got one. my size. When I first saw the clothes, I noticed that the sizes, they were actually the sizes that, you know, that I wear. So I was very excited. I was like, yes, they're definitely going to fit perfect. All right, yeah. kick some ass. Nice. Do we have the same thing? We have the same thing on. When I put the green dress on, I see that Lauren has the exact same dress in a different color. And hers fits her, and mine is two sizes too big. It looks like a Christmas tree. <laughs> All the guys were really nervous about this challenge just because we weren't the ones who were really on the line. I mean, this was a challenge where we really ended up putting our partners on the line because they were the ones who were actually going to be looked at. Before I walked out in the morning, I was pretty confident. I thought they picked out a good color, good size, and definitely a cute dress. I would definitely wear it out. <laughs> he got my sizes perfect. He nailed everything, like, right on the target. Mindy walked down the runway, and I was very proud of her. I thought to myself, wow, she looks mighty fine. When I first got up the stairs, I thought to myself, you know what, if I want to win this, I basically have to sell it to the judges. I got to be confident, and I got to feel good. And I definitely feel good in the clothes that Sean picked. black dress. It fit me like a bag, like a garbage bag. Like it was humongous. It was so big. Is that what you're supposed to wear over it? <coughs> yeah, and don't laugh because I don't want my partner's feelings to get hurt when he sees it. I'm about to hit the runway and I'm feeling really just insecure about what I'm wearing. <laughs> the pink dress was too big and too poofy. <laughs> and the sweater over the top just put it over the top. Chuck has an extremely high IQ, but his fashion IQ is probably like a three on a scale of one to 100. The next thing is the casual wear, which he got me a white skirt and then a turquoise and white top. I felt like I did a pretty good job. The casual wear fit her perfectly. were about two sizes too big and about six inches too long. And then the whole layered, like, on top, I mean, I felt like he was dressing his mom. I, I had a hard time making those clothes even look decent on me, and I didn't feel confident in them. The bathing suit was a Brazilian cut bathing suit, which is kind of little in the back. The size, it fit perfect, and I was definitely confident in every outfit that he picked out. The swimwear, the butt was so big. Oh, I, I really felt like I was walking around with 
pooped in my pants because it was just like sagging. I mean, I was not comfortable wearing that swimsuit at all. Seeing her walking up and down the runway, you know, there, there's a certain arousal factor. I thought the outfit looked very sexy. <laughs> As I'm about to go out on the runway, my biggest fear definitely is that my boobs are going to come flying out of my clothes. They were too big and the bathing suit was too small. I don't feel comfortable in a swimsuit anyways. And the bikini was just like three sizes too small. It barely covered any part of my body. I wanted it over with immediately. You come stand with your respected ladies. As far as the actual competition part of the challenge, all I knew was that you know I'd, I'd gotten lucky on on the sizing, and that, that I'd gotten stuff that I knew Kite liked. I felt very happy about the challenge, but as far as you know, who would who would be picked out as the winner, I, you know, it it seemed like it was very much up for grabs. The judges have made their final decision. Todd, which guy has the highest score? Judges have made their final decision. And before I tell you, I know they've got something they want to say to you men. We'll start with Todd. Go ahead, Todd. Richard, obviously you're a Flintstones fan because <laughs> the Bam Bam thing, the, the little Actually, leopard. Actually, I just wanted to bring out the animal in her. <laughs> we like the evening dress. That was a great dress, Belle. Sean, shoes were great with all the outfits. She looked confident, she looked good. I think we all, like, did we agree, like, the evening, the black, just didn't fit very well. Sean, no. I just wondered, Kaitlyn is so beautiful. I questioned if you even liked her. <laughs> <laughs> the little prom number for the evening. Like the black and the pink and the poofy and the sparkle, that was a little too, too much. And none of it really fit her well. It's like, I don't think you were observant enough to see her real size. She didn't feel comfortable in any of the clothes we didn't think. I felt like the judges' reactions to Chuck's sense of style were extremely harsh. You know, I know he did his best and I'm so appreciative and I know he had my best interest in mind. Well, gentlemen, the votes are in. Todd, which guy has the highest score? My highest score is Sean. Erica. I have to say Sean. Nani. Sean. Wow. Oh. Oh. Congratulations, Sean and Scarlett. I found out that Scarlett and I won, and I was my jaw hit the floor. I was I was shocked, completely, utterly shocked. No idea it was going to happen that way. I am very proud of Sean because this is the first time he's ever bought clothes for a girl. And the fact that he did an excellent job. Congratulations, Light, Kaitlyn, and Chuck. You guys are safe from elimination. And you also get to choose one team that will face off in the elimination room. There were a couple things about some of Scarlett's outfits that I had noticed, that I had kind of locked onto stuff that I wanted to emphasize and it turned out to work pretty well. No. Oh, yes. I was really happy that Sean and Scarlett won the challenge. It means that they're both safe and I'm very glad about that. So glad to see you guys. I'm so glad you're safe. Mm, thank you. Yeah, I don't know what next time. Shawnee, <laughs> congrats! I have no permanent alliances, and whoever wins the immunity is my new best friend. My, my friend, my pal, my bud, Sean. You're Sean, trying to form gentlemen. alliances, aren't you? <laughs> There's no alliance forming going on. There was nothing subtle about that at all. It was very obvious that he was you know, trying to you know, get on my good side. I'm coming out saying, I want to form an alliance, and it's going to anger some people Amuse others. Chuck, you want to play some chess? Uh, I was going to play with Scarlett, actually. OK. <laughs> the thing about Richard is it's much easier to be laughed at for being the buffoon than it is to be laughed at for being yourself.
And today was just a disheartening day because I really thought Rich was moving in the right direction. And, and he wasn't. He's walking around with the nail savers and the hat. And... I think I'm over it. It's old. I think I'm number one on Chuck's hit list. Richard, don't intentionally try to piss someone off. It's too off. late. I am, he, he and I are like, we are beyond the point of no return. Well, that's definitely going to be the first thing that's going to send us to an elimination room. I think that Richard is a liability. He just completely runs around like an idiot. His actions reflect on me. Well, showtime. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Is it showtime? Yes. Yes. I know what Chuck's up to. If Chuck had his way, he'd eliminate me. If I had my way, I'd eliminate him. I'm scared out of my mind right now. I don't want to go home. Like, it really, really makes me nervous. Sean and Kaitlyn, in yesterday's challenge, you each gained the power to choose who would be headed to the elimination room tonight. It's time to reveal your decision. So, Kaitlyn, which team have you and your partner chosen? Chuck and I made this decision together, and um, we chose Richard and Mindy. But we just really feel like this house and this game is about life-changing experiences. And we really felt like we were breaking through that wall with you, Richard, and getting down to the core of it and who you really are. And we just couldn't get through. So Richard and Mindy, you'll be going to the elimination room tonight. Sean, who have you and your teammate decided to put up for elimination tonight? Sean, who have you and your teammate decided to put up for elimination tonight? Scarlett and I talked a lot about this, and um, uh, we realized that this is an opportunity for us to all have life-changing experiences, for us to learn about each other, and more importantly, to learn about ourselves. But we feel that uh, one of you could use this experience more, which is why we are sending Brad and Crystal to the elimination room tonight. I'm annoyed that this is the second time we're gonna be going to the elimination room. I don't know whether to believe, you know, the reason that they give. Brad and Crystal, you'll be facing off against Richard and Mindy in the elimination room tonight. You'll be tested on astronomy and women's fashion, so I hope you guys are prepared. Take your time, pack your bags, and say your goodbyes. I kind of do blame Richard for us going into the elimination room because Richard it isn't changing. Like, he's not being open to change. It's nobody's fault. Richard, you're not a pain in the ass. Mwah. I love you. Mwah. Mwah. And one more for good luck. Mwah. Yeah. Mwah. All right. Um, which planet has rings of ice and dust? Saturn. Okay. This planet tilts on an axis. Uranus. So I was pretty pissed off and I really didn't care about saying bye to anyone. You know, I was just focused on packing my things, looking over the notes I had, and, you know, studying the materials. I really don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to fail. No, you're not. I knew that I was going to have to study a lot more because I haven't done any of that, so I knew I'd have to go for a cram session. I have to show you how to spoon. Okay, lay down. Oh, God, yes. It was really one of the first nights that we were here, and I told Richard that I would spoon him. I might try and spoon you later. What I'm, does I'm the big... spoon mean? And he's like, well, what's spooning? You're going to teach me how to spoon. Hey, lay on your side. Face that way. Scoot over. You got. I need room to spoon you. OK. I think it was really important that Richard found out what spooning was before we got to leave, since we didn't know if we were going to see each other ever again. You have this to lay is, down. This is a lay wonderful down. You have to lay way down. to end lay. this. Lay. Lay down. This is spooning. And if you really see, this is spooning. Oh, my like god. This. Oh, spooning with Mindy was, was, was phenomenal. I told her that maybe we should try to get eliminated more often.
I really would like to win this time, you know, because it's the second time that I was voted into the elimination room, and I think it's a bunch of I've spent my life sort of purposely ignoring women's fashion, and now I'm being forced to deal with it. But however little I know, I think Richard probably knows less. Sending me into the elimination room, worst thing they could have done. If I survive that elimination round, I'm coming back. I'm coming back with a vengeance and take no prisoners. Richard and Mindy, Crystal and Brad, welcome to the elimination room. Tonight, I'm going to give each of you three questions that will test your knowledge that you've already learned over the past few days. The team that answers the most questions correctly will return to the house one step closer to $250,000. And the losing team will be sent home immediately. Ladies, you're going to go first. Gentlemen, if you can wait across the hall in the viewing room. Good luck. Mindy, you'll go first. I'm gonna go with two. Two. Mindy, your question is, how many times in one year does the Earth travel around the sun? Once. That is correct. Yes. The score is now 1-0 over to Crystal. Um, number three. An event called when the moon passes directly between the sun and the Earth and casts a shadow on the Earth's surface. A lunar eclipse. So close. It's incorrect, it's a solar eclipse. The score remains 1-0. Over to you, Mindy. Five. Mindy, what is the name of the famous comet that passes Earth every 76 years? Halley's Comet. That is correct. Yes. The score now is two questions to zero. And over to you, Crystal. Number one. Crystal, what star is closest to the Earth? You know that. Um, I'm gonna guess at this one. I'll say the sun. I have no idea. You are correct. So the score now is two to one. Mindy. Six. Mindy, from which state are the space shuttles launched? Um, Florida. That is correct. The score is now three questions to one. One question remaining and over to Crystal. Crystal, what planet is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty? Let's see. I'm gonna guess this one too. You know that. Jupiter. That is incorrect. The answer is Venus. The score remains three to one. Guys, come on in and join us. Guys, welcome back to the Illumination Room. The score, Richard and Mindy, three questions. Over to Brad and Crystal's one. Ladies, it is now your turn to wait across the hall in the viewing room. All right, guys, let's get to it. Brad, we will start off this last part of the Illumination with a lot of catching up to do. Go ahead and choose. One. Brad, your question is, name the four-legged animals depicted in the trademarks for the following fashion lines. Lacoste, La Tigre, and Ralph Lauren. Alligator. Um, all I know would be the tiger for the second one. The other two, uh, horse and Ralph Lauren. First one, I don't know. Lacoste is an alligator, La Tigre is a tiger, and Ralph Lauren is the horse. The score remains three questions to one. Richard, all you have to do is get this question right, and your team stays in the house with a chance at $250,000. I know, it's a lot of money, isn't it? I'll take number two. Richard, in the fashion label DKNY, the DK refers to what designer? <laughs> Karen. Come on, Don't he care. has to get this one. Devin Klein. <laughs> Devin Klein. <laughs> I have no idea. 
That is incorrect. Donna Karen is the correct answer. So the score remains three to one. Brad, you still have some life in the game, buddy. You get this wrong, you leave the house without your shot at $250,000. You ready? Number three. Brad, what upscale department store has the same name as a popular kid's entertainment character? Oh, I have no idea. You wanna give me an answer? I got nothing. The correct answer is Barney's. Same. Ladies, come back in. Brad and Crystal, it was a lot of fun having you here. Good luck to you guys. <laughs> When I kissed Crystal on the lips, it was the first time I had ever kissed lips. I'm glad it was her lips. I definitely pat Richard on the back for having the guts to just, you know, turn me around and kiss me. I think that was, that was really, uh, you know, daring of him. And I don't think he would have done that if he wouldn't have come here. I'm really proud of him and I'm happy for him too. Congratulations, Richard and Mindy. The other teams up there were wondering who's going to be walking up those stairs. So why don't you go show them? Good night, guys. <laughs> I'll definitely miss Crystal. I'll, I'll definitely miss a few laughs every day, you know, since Crystal's not around. I really connected with Brad more than anyone. I feel like he's like my brother. Like, I got pretty close with him. I certainly learned that you can't just immediately typecast people because there are things beneath the surface that, you know, that you'll never know about if you don't take the time to. The very first day I had gotten here, I just thought, like, oh my god, these guys are, you know, a bunch of, like, nerdy guys. And I honestly did think that. And, you know, as I got to know the guys so much better, I, you know, fell in love with all of them in a different way. They're the best group of guys that I've ever, you know, hung around with, definitely. If you're a beautiful woman and think you can help a geek, or if you're a geek and want to help a beauty, be a part of next season's social experiment from Ashton Kutcher and take your shot at winning big. Go to the WB.com to find out more details on how you can become the next beauty and the geek. Next time on Beauty and the Geek. Top in the morning to you. The final four men take a big step. Could I get your number so I could call you? Getting a phone number. You wouldn't possibly want to give me your phone number. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's husband. <laughs> Are you? And going on a date. I'd like to go out tonight for dinner. I'm nervous about everything right now. Do I have to kiss you now? When is that? <laughs> We're not kissing. And the girls face a bigger challenge. Are you kidding me? Giving the guys a makeover. Okay. I like that sloppy look, yeah. just kind of a little Messy. bit everywhere. I want to see like a complete transformation. Ladies, Richard, please show us your new look. <laughs> All on the next Beauty and the Geek. If you missed it or just want to see it again, catch Beauty and the Geek tomorrow at 9, 8 central here on the WB. Hey, it's Nick Zana. You can catch what I like about you Friday on the WB. Don't miss it.